Researchers in Calgary and Edmonton have launched a lung cancer screening study to determine the best criteria for catching the disease early while it is still treatable. We're uh, uh, starting a lung cancer research uh, screening project in Alberta. So we're looking to screen uh, 800 Albertans for lung cancer uh, using a low-dose CT scan machine, which is a fancy x-ray machine that gets us very detailed uh, images of the lung. And the idea is we're trying to, to, to find lung cancers earlier uh, and we're trying to answer some research questions at the same time, like who's the best group of people to screen, you know, how do we measure risk, um, how do we investigate lesions that we find on screening, uh, how do we help people quit smoking, uh, and a few other questions like that. Funded by the Alberta Cancer Foundation, the study seeks to identify the smokers and ex-smokers most at risk for lung cancer. Current smokers are most at risk of lung cancer, but because in, in our population there's so many more ex-smokers now, just because just there's people, so many people have quit over the last you know, 20 years, uh, that we actually see more ex-smokers with lung cancer in the clinic. Um, so it's important not to forget them. And unfortunately, the risk of lung cancer doesn't go away when you quit smoking. It slowly goes down over 20 years, but never goes back to zero. So even if you quit you know, 10, 15, 20 years ago, you may still be at risk of lung cancer. And, and our risk uh, formula uh, takes that into account. Lung cancer is the leading cause of cancer death for both men and women. But most cases are only identified at an advanced stage when treatments rarely result in a cure. Some of the things we know, for example, that lung cancer can, uh, screening can, can save lives. There's a large American study that was done a few years ago that shows that. Um, we think we can actually do better uh, than what that study has shown by selecting our, our uh, population at risk even more carefully. So we have actually a Made in Canada uh, risk formula that we use to select our patients or our participants into the, into the study. Sites in both Calgary and Edmonton began recruiting study participants earlier this year. In Edmonton, the study is being led by Dr. Eric Bedard, the Edmonton Zone Section Head for Thoracic Surgery. There are currently no other jurisdictions in Canada that offer a systematic lung cancer screening program. The, the doctor had talked about how people put it off because they don't want to know. It's like being in school and you got homework assignment to do and you put it off and you put it off and you put it off but it's always in the back of your head. You never really relax because you know you got to do it. And then one day the light bulb comes on and says, if you just do the homework assignment right now, you don't have to worry about it anymore. So if, if it is in the back of your mind, sign up for the program, get checked out. Yeah, there's that fear that it's going to happen, but there's also that incredible happiness when you find out, no, it hasn't got me yet. And if it, they do find something, they found it nice and early, and they're going to be able to fix you up. So it's a win-win situation all around. An additional goal of the study is to determine the actual cost and health care resources required to establish a province-wide lung cancer screening program. Researchers are looking to enroll a total of 800 people in the study. Smokers and ex-smokers between the ages of 55 and 80 might be eligible. You can find out more and download a copy of the screening questionnaire at www.ucalgary.ca slash lung screening or call the study office at 403-210-6862 or 1-844-210-6862.